Hi, and welcome to this video of Dynamics 365 Talk, where I'll be talking about configuration options for views in the unified interface. We can add custom controls to views by adding the read-only control and configuring the reflow behavior and the entity card that view will actually use. But before we get started, I just wanted to introduce myself. My name is Dion Taylor. You can take a look at my blog at d365goddess.com or you can just follow me on Twitter at d365goddess. Let's get started. So first I want to talk a little bit about the read-only grid control. This control is, by the way, not the same as the read-only default control. When we add this read-only grid control to a view, we will have some configuration options for the view, such as which card form that will be used for the view, and also the reflow behavior for that particular view. Now let's talk a little bit about that card form. Configuring a card form is not much different from configuring a standard form, but there are less configuration options available. For example, there are no layout options for the section on the form, and we also need to keep in mind that field labels will not be visible when that form renders. There's also a limitation of the number of fields that you can add to the different sections of the card form. So the header can only have a maximum of three fields, the detail section has a maximum of four fields, and the footer also has a maximum of four fields. So let's take a look at this particular card form when it renders and what it looks like for the end user. This is what that looks like. So as you can see, there are no labels visible on that view, right? We only see the actual data in those fields. So we got to make sure that we pick fields that will make sense to the end users. The last thing we can configure is the reflow behavior of the view. And we have three different options. We have grid only. This is more of like the standard view that we're used to. And this is kind of rendering that view as Excel style of rows and columns, right? Then we also have the list only view. And this is that card type view. Right? This presents the attributes of a record within a single list card. And this is, as you can see, always in read-only format. And then lastly, we have the reflow option. This is when the system will automatically decide if this is going to render in a grid or a list view based on that available screen space. So the smaller screens will see the list views and the larger screens will see those grid views. So I have a view here that has been configured as reflow. As you can see, I'm currently on a larger screen. So you can see that we currently have the view that is rendering in that grid view. Now, if I actually make this a smaller screen, let me just go ahead and do that real quick by dragging this over you will see that it will automatically change my view and now what it's showing me is the view that is that list view that's using the card in this case the card form for case records that I've configured and then if I go back Again, we see that it flows back into that grid view. Now let's talk about how to configure this type of behavior. And let's start with the card form. And in this particular case, obviously, we're working on the incident or case entity. So I can just go ahead and navigate to forms. As you can see, we can actually identify the card form very easily because you will see that the form type, as you can see here, is card. So let's go ahead and open up that case card form here. And here it is. Now, you can see that it's, it, it's very similar, the configuration, 
as you know, we're configuring a, a normal quote unquote form, right? I can just go ahead and add fields, just throw them on there like this. You can see there is not an insert button, so I cannot put subgrids on here. But again, that's really not what we're trying to accomplish either. Now, the thing that you want to keep in mind is that there are some limitations here to these card forms. So for example, there are no layout options for the sections on those forms, right? We can't really change any of that. I can double click on it, but I can't change that. It just doesn't open up. And then the other limitation is the number of fields that you can add to these different sections on the form. So for example, we can only add a maximum of three fields in this header section. You can see here that I actually have four in there, but it's only going to show those initial three fields. Then in the details section, I currently have two fields in there and we can max put four fields in there. That is the absolute max. And then lastly on the footer, we can also put four fields on the footer as well. So once you're done, obviously you can just go ahead and save and, and publish. But the other thing you want to keep in mind is that the, the field labels that we see here, right? I see case title, I see description, contact, etc. You have to make sure that you put fields on there that would actually make sense. Because when this renders in the application, the end user is not going to see field labels. They're only going to see the values uh, in those fields. So again, once you've done that, I'm just going to go ahead and close this form. Then we can go ahead and we can configure our views. So I'm just going to go ahead and open my active cases grid here. And here we are. And in order to add that custom control, we're just going to click on custom controls. Now I already have the read only grid on there. So I'm just going to remove it and re add it. I'm going to click on add control. Here is my read only grid. I'm going to click add. As you can see, this is different than the default read only grid. We're going to make sure that we enable that for web phone and tablet. And now what I can do is I can pick the card form that we just updated. So this is on the case entity. So pick your entity and then you can pick your case card. Now in this particular instance, we only have one and I'm going to pick that case card. And then we can go ahead and we can configure our reflow behavior, right? So we can do again, grid only. That's the quote unquote old view that we're used to, right? With all of those columns on top and everything, or we can use list only. That's that view that only uses those cards or again we can use reflow and that's what you just saw earlier in my demo where depending on the screen size the system will determine either to show those records as a grid only or a list only view and that's really it that's all you have to do uh, again you just want to make sure you click ok click ok here and then save that and then make sure that you publish obviously your changes as well. Now, if you're having some issues with this, this actually happened with me uh, a while ago as well. Let me just go ahead and go back here to my default solution. What fixed it for me was when I actually put this control on my entity. So what I ended up doing is I went to my case entity, I clicked on controls, and I just added the control here as well, the exact same way that you just saw me add it to that view. So again, you can just go ahead and set those little radio buttons here. Again, select your case card, your reflow behavior, and that's it. Make sure you save and publish and you should be ready to go. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like and until next time.